Oh. Hello, you lot. Yeah. In here is a strimmer. It's an SGS strimmer, a little one. And uh, I like it. Well, see, this come up for sale. Uh, it's on eBay. I like SGS stuff. I've got the strimmer, I've got all kinds of things. So I thought, let's go for this. Let's see what it's like. I've got a funny feeling that uh, it's used, obviously, but I've got a funny feeling that it ain't been packed very well. Yes. <laughs> Let's have a look. Hold on a minute. Some of you lot that have been on this channel for a while might remember when I bought a lawnmower. I bought a lawnmower 46.52, I think it was, from somewhere. I think it might have been eBay. And I said, "Do you deliver?" He said, "Yes." And he, when he when he posted it, he did, just shoved it in a box. The box had fell apart. It was all smashed up. Got a funny feeling that this was. Uh, Advertised as being posted anyway. Well, there isn't any packing in here really. A few bits of paper. There's a few bits of paper in here. And one little bit of bubble wrap. So we'll see how it's fared. The end of it's come out of the box, look. Yeah, the end of it's come out of the box. We'll have a look, we'll see how it's fared. Hold on a minute. There you go. Right. Look there. That's one little bit of bubble, bubble wrap sort of stuff that we've got. Hopefully. Oh, I don't think it's fared too well, you lot. Look at that. Yeah. I, can't un I don't understand the people's mentality, you know, when they're, when they're um, packing things. How they think that it's going to survive and it's going to be good. Get that out of there. Right. Anything else in here? No. Right, let's have a look at it then, shall we? <laughs> right, let's see what we've got. This was advertised as um, being new, um, used once last summer. Well, I think it was new, but used used one summer. That's what it was advertised as. So at least we've got. Yes, at least. <laughs> at least we've got the harness. Not that I need a harness. You don't need a harness with these. Um, the throttle is working, attached anyway. It's, I'd say it's definitely been used more than once, wouldn't you? The air filter is broken. Whether that was broken before, or whether that's broken in the box, I don't know. Right, it's gone off with a dustpan and brush now, so... Anyway, whether that was broken in the box or whether that's broken before, I don't know. It's At least it's got an air filter on it. I mean, there's a positive side of that. At least it's got an air filter on it. Um, so we've got ourselves an SGS 26cc strimmer, petrol strimmer. So, now I know it was advertised as being fully working in great condition, but missing strimmer head. So it's missing the end, but that's not a problem because I've got a few of those. But not only that, I've got a little job for this where I don't need the strimmer head for it, for the wire. Um, I've got something else I want to put on the end of that, so we'll have a look at that in a minute. But first of all, we need to even find out if it's going to work. It might not even work. So, the choke appears to be functional, whether it does actually work, I don't know. It has got compression. Let's put the end on, put some petrol in it, and see if it'll fire up, and then we'll go from there, I suppose. But so far, we already know, don't we? We already know, never believe adverts, especially on eBay, especially when they're from up north. This come from Birmingham, I think, and everybody in Birmingham is always seems to be a liar. Why? Any Birmingham people out there, why are you all liars? Everything I bought from Birmingham, that little mama come from Birmingham, I think, and it was smashed up. What's it all about? Come on, you lot. Let's get this going, shall we? Right, you lot. I've just, uh, I've been, I've just, Trying to put this together, and I'm thinking this ain't going together right. So 
on this shaft with the streamer with the engine you got your little spine right but then on this end you've got that and it only goes in so far you can see where it, how far it goes in something's not right here because that ain't going to connect to that is it so it's a bit missing i reckon that can't be right surely I've never had one of these SGS ones. The one I've got is the bigger 52cc one, the bigger one. And uh, actually, I could take that apart and see what that's got. It's got exactly the same connection on it. So, oh no, that's got a different one. Look. That's got a different... That, that will take the spline. So we're missing that little bit. That's what we're missing, surely. Because that's exactly the same. So we're just missing that little bit what connects onto there, what the spline goes into. The little bastard, I reckon he knew that was missing because it ain't in the box. I've just looked all around inside the box and that little bit ain't in there. So, and I've just looked on the listing again and it says in good condition, fully working, apart from it needs the this, this, this spool. So, not happy there. Not happy. Right. I'm going to see if I can adapt something. I'm going to see if I can nick the bit off of this other streamer. Might better get it going. I just want to see... Well, I can see if the engine's going to run, actually, without the end on it. But I wanted to have it working so that I could put the end on it. Doesn't matter. We'll work something out. I've just I've just realised something. I'm sitting here thinking, something's not right. Something's not right. And look what I've noticed. I don't know if, it's, if I'm right yet, but look what I've noticed, right? On the other streamer, this is on the, the, on, on the streamer end, okay? And it's that way around but on the one that we're looking at today stand that up he's taken it off but he's left it on the end on the on the streaming end and it's the wrong, wrong way uh, it's the right way round I don't know no it's not it's the wrong way round no it's not it's the right way round I don't know I couldn't get that off I'm gonna try and get that off see if I can put that on there uh, and see if we've got the right bits if not I'm gonna have to what I'll do is I'll message the seller and I'll say to him look is there's a bit missing and you said it's fully working but there's a bit missing so it ain't fully working um, I'm gonna ignore the fact that it's clearly not what he said it was but I'm not bothered about that really um, and if I can't get a bit I'm just gonna have to go and ask SGS I'll see if they sell it separately on the website if not I'm gonna have to send him a message and just say look can I buy it a little bit to get it going Right, so we're together and it's on now. What do you want, the Allen keys? So it's together. It, what it was, where are you taking it off wrong end? The wrong end. You're supposed to take it off this end. That's why it's a quick, quick disconnect. But he's taking it off that end and a little bit this end. So the little collar thing that I thought was missing was actually inside this. And uh, so I've managed to take that off, oil it all up. Oh, nice one. I oiled it all up. When I put it back on this end, it pushed the little collar thing out, and uh, there it was. It wasn't missing at all, so it was in there. So that's just me being stupid. Should have known better the amount of times I've taken this one apart. Uh, anyway, I'm never going to see those Allen keys again there. Anyway, let's put some petrol in it and see if it's going to fire up. While I'm doing this, you lot, how much hope are you um, raising into this that it's actually going to work? Well, it's missing the end of that. It's missing the filter out of the tank. Let's see, let's put a bit of pepper in it. table over it so it's probably been broken definitely not as little used as he said it was what's the matter little man oh yeah that's my petrol that's my petrol yeah oh right what's the matter don't like the smell right then let's see if it'll go let's prime it Priming, that's a good sign. Uh, 
<laughs> the the um, on and stop um, switch is very stiff, a little bit broken. Uh, so, didn't say why it's all been choked, does it? Let's have a look. Here we go. sound very good at all does it? I noticed the um, the head don't turn it just makes crunching sounds so there's something a bit wrong in there right we're gonna have to look into this but it, it does run at least it runs that is one plus got petrol squirting out that hole uh, there's supposed to be a little thing on the end of the cap on the inside to stop that happening Righto, let's have a look. It's definitely been thrashed. It's definitely been well abused, that's for sure. I just wish people wouldn't lie. Why do they lie? You know, but uh, never mind. Right, let's have a look and see if I can find out why it do not actually work. Like, why it doesn't turn around. Righto, you lot. I've found the calls. If we have a look in here, hopefully, you can see. Get it in focus. That is supposed to be square, and this is the male side. The female side is obviously also square, and that slots in there. But this isn't square anymore. It's round. Hopefully you can see that. It's, it, all the, the edges have gone to it. They've all been rounded off. So obviously inside the female side, it just spins around. It doesn't, doesn't actually grip. Now, in my experience... In my experience, this happens when, if if you're streaming and this gets stuck, and you keep revving it, you keep trying to get it to go. You know, with these cheap, small cheap streamers, they're not designed for that. They're designed for light work, and um, all it does is it just strips things off, and this strips very easily. And that's obviously what's happened, and uh, you know, you can tell that it's been abused because of the state of it. So. What I'm going to have to try and do, for your information, what I'm going to do is I'm going to message the seller and just say, look, it ain't what, it, what he said it was. It ain't in working condition. It's broken. Um, so I want some money back. And then after that, I'll get onto SGS. And I don't know if I can buy... I don't think you can take this apart. You might better take this apart and just get the little... the insert, whatever that thing's called. I don't know what that thing is called. Well, it might better get that. If I can get that, I will. If not... I'm going to have to get a whole new end. Um, I don't know if it will fit. I've got an end for the other strimmer. But I don't know if it will fit. I've got a spare one. I've got a spare one here. This is a spare one for the other strimmer. See, it's just a straight. And this is a bent one. It might fit on. If that fits on, then I'm, I'm laughing. I don't think it will. I think it's going to be a different connection. I think they've got different connections on the end of them because that one's a lot further in than that one. Look at that one. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see, but that one's got the insert poking out and that one hasn't. I don't think it'll fit. But anyway, either way, I'm going to have to try and get it sorted out. <laughs> right, so about an hour later i've done a lot of fanning around i've managed to bodge it up for now and it works basically just jammed a load of stuff in there to make it grip and um i've put the little attachment on it that i want to put on it but i'm not going to show none of you lot yet that yet 
but it's bloody fresh this streamer but it is what it is you know so you can't complain at least it runs and it seems quite good so there we go an sgs 23cc streamer unboxing or whatever you want to call it thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next video where i'll show you what i've done to it <laughs>